you sew this, close the zipper, and pin, pin it to make sure it's nicely pinned. Now, pass this a quarter. This is your center front, if pattern is done correctly, and pin. This is quarter pass and pin. Right, now you're gonna open and find where the zipper is. Here is your zipper, see? Now I can take this zipper and I'm gonna attach right here. I can even separate now because this is enough. I know where it's supposed to be because I know this line is straight. Now I can remove this. Boom, 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 boom. And then while it's open like this, I sew the zipper to the J stitch part. See this? This is important. And then I can sew the tape when while still open like this. Make sure this is straight. Okay, perfect. Check this now. Now, if I close this, close this like this, this is why J stitch is super important. Now I'm gonna put the J stitch, but before the J stitch, I wanna join at the rises. The top notch is for me to stop the front rise. You go with the zipper foot like this. And this is where you're supposed to be stopping. Yeah, three eighths away from the edge. And then we're gonna close the rises because my machine doesn't do a back stitch. So you make sure your rises are joined with three eighths seam allowances. And now you can connect the whole rises front and back at the same time. This is always better to do after your, your inseams are uh, joined, you know? Okay, so you know how to do rises. Now let's go back to the J stitch. So this is connected, this is connected. You can just uh, close here nicely like this. See, nice and clean. And when you do J stitch marker, it's very useful. So I can start sewing from this is the stitch, right? I'm going to start sewing J stitch marker quarter below. This is how I do this. Quarter below rises. So it gives you extra reinforcement. This is where I'm going to do it. And let's start sewing now. Because this helps you to do this uh, curve correctly. I can do this with my closed eyes, but it's always good to use the marker, especially if you are new. Go slow because you have a zipper underneath. You know what I mean? I don't want to break my needle. Okay, so I can rotate this. You gotta stop someplace right here. You know why? I'll tell you why. So sometimes you see uh, a bar tech here, right? That's for a reason. Let me reinforce this one. Okay, I'll reinforce this and now I'm gonna open this. Okay, so because this and this is gonna catch, catch, catch this. See what I mean? It captured. Now after this has to be separated. So now I can open this one and do separated J stitch from here to here straight up okay so i like to do inch and one eighth but you can do one inch two inch and a quarter or you can do double needle anything you want and now i open this here like this open this and i'm going to use the J stitch and do my top stitch 
I personally don't need the J stitch marker anymore because I can see where that one and one eighth is, but you can use the J stitch marker to help with the state streets. And then you, you have to stop where we stopped at the bottom here. Perfect. So now I'm lazy to do the um, bar tech. That's why you put bar tech here, bar tech here to be safe or when you zip and unzip it because when you zip and unzip like this, see, you need this one security here, like here. 